Hey everybody, happy Monday. So I had a chance over the weekend to finally warm all three fragrances from the upcoming summer collection. Um, if you're not aware, the summer collection, Sensi's calling it Sunshine State of Mind, and that is dropping on my website on June 1st. So you'll be able to pick up any of these fragrances as well as the other products that are gonna be in the um, collection. I did do a post about all the different products and I'll probably do another one once it comes close to launch time, but these fragrances are going to be available in other products like in cleaning and body and then there's also going to be some pods and then some warmers and some kid items too. So it's it's a really good collection. Um, it's a pretty decent collection since the past couple of like limited time collections have been quite small. Um, this has a definite um, variety in its collection. So I did already do a first sniffs on these. So if you're interested on what my first sniff reaction was on these bars, you can go back into the timeline and see that. Um, also I have it on YouTube as well. Um, but I did get a chance to warm them finally. And my impression of the bars is actually quite different than what I had originally thought. So we're going to go right into it and we'll start with the ocean air and coconut water. Um, this one I was pleasantly surprised with, and I absolutely fell in love with this bar once I warmed it. This will be going in my club. It will be a multiple quantity in my club. So usually I stick to like one bar of each. Um, this is probably going to either get two or three. And when this launches on June 1st, I might just pick up a six pack because I can see myself warming this all summer long. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. It's like the prettiest summer coconut scent that they have had. And they've come out with quite a few coconuts already. Like we've had blue coconut beach and we've had pink coconut. And then there's Kukui and coconut in the main catalog. This by far is the best coconut suntan lotion coconut that Scentsy has made. I thought blue coconut beach was great. This surpassed it and checks all the boxes for me. This is club worthy. It lasts for days, days this lasted. And I was surprised because usually fresh scents don't last quite long, in my opinion, unless they have like a mint like scent note in it, like peppermint or something like that, then they tend to last a little bit longer. But oh my God, guys, this is so pretty. And if you are into coconut, if you're into beachy scents, you have to pick this up. It literally surpassed and it was so good like it lingered its duration just continued the intensity didn't like die down it kind of just stayed where it needed to be warmed like a champ I absolutely freaking love this bar and it's been a while since since he's come out with a fragrance that I've absolutely fallen in love with so I was so happy with this bar so happy guys oh it's so good so that right now is by far my favorite one. And like I said, it is club worthy. It's going to go right in my club on June 1st. Pineapple Dragon Fruit. This one performed just like I thought it was going to. Um, let me see here. So this one, even though it doesn't have it in the scent description, there is citrus in here. There is lemon. There is lime. It is so citrusy and fruity. It gives me lemon verbena vibes, if you've ever had that. It kind of almost gives me a little bit of cocoa lime vibes too. But holy crap, this is a powerhouse. This, this stands on its own when compared to coconut lime, uh, cocoa lime or coconut lemongrass. This, when I put it in, and I only use two cubes. I only use two cubes. And it was enough to fill the whole room that I had the two cubes in. Plus, it threw into three other rooms. Just with two cubes. So the fact that its throw power was insane. Like, you only need maybe, like, put this in, like one room at one end of your house and a couple cubes at the other end of your house and your whole house would smell like this. You wouldn't even have to put warmers on in the rest of the rooms because this will overpower it. If you have anything going in any other rooms and you put this in, I wouldn't suggest that because this scent is going to overpower whatever other fragrances in the other rooms because it does throw so well. But it's so nice. I don't get much pineapple, 
There's a little bit of pineapple and there's a, a little bit of like a tropical note, but the main fragrance that you're getting out of here is the citrus. Even though there's no citrus in it, it says a mix of pineapple, dragon fruit, sparkling lemon, and crystallized sugar, but it's not like lemon lemon. Like it's not like the lemon that you would get out of like uh, lemon sorbet or sparkling yellow. It's like a lemon lime, like, like Sprite soda. I love it. I absolutely freaking love this bar. Now, am I going to club it? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to club it yet only because, I don't know. I've got three fruit bars that I absolutely love for summer that are not going to leave my club. Like when the spring and summer catalog ends, they're going in my club. So I can't justify having like five different, you know what I mean? Like I can't justify having that many fragrances in that category. So I really have to warm it against those other fragrances that I know I'm going to club just to see. But I might just throw this in my club only because I don't have lemon verbena and that is a sensey heartbreak for me. I loved that fragrance and I kicked myself because I didn't know about club when it was still available so there was no way of me being able to club it at that time. But I think I might just club it just so I can get my fix off of that fragrance and it's like my dupe for lemon verbena until it comes back like in a bring back your bar or something like that. So I think that might be the only reason I club it. But honestly, if you're into like tropical fruits and citrus, this bar is going to be your jam. I'm telling you. And the fact that it lasted days and the fact that it threw into multiple rooms is like check, 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 check. Like <laughs> this, this, this collection surpassed all my expectations because the past couple the father's day collection sucked i'm sorry it did the mother's day collection sort of sucked i still like blue coconut beach but these oh my god so so far we're doing good and then the last one was tangerine and sugarcane i had high hopes for this one i was a little bit disappointed but not like terribly disappointed that i wouldn't repurchase it it's just a weird bar Okay, I'm going to read the scent description for you because honestly I forgot what it was. Um, so Sensi says it's sweet ruby grapefruit, juicy tangerine, and sugar cane. So when they said sweet ruby grapefruit, I was like ecstatic because sweet ruby grapefruit is in Be Fabulous, which they gave the axe to this catalog. It was in last spring and summer's catalog and then they didn't return it. So it's a retired scent and I absolutely love it. It's in my club though, so I don't have to worry about it. But... So I was kind of like thinking, oh my God, it might be, you know, close to that fragrance. It's not. It's so weird that it's hard to describe. So when it was warming, you definitely get the tangerine. Like the tangerine is the top note in this fragrance. And it is a little bit sweet, but not sickly sweet that sugar cane usually will provide to a fragrance. Um, it was just kind of like a mellow tangerine, almost like a tangerine, not with like cleaning products and not a tangerine that's like fruity it's more like a tangerine that you would find like in chapstick or like a body care that type of like tangerine orange so that's what you got and then a couple hours later I went back into the room that it was warming in and then all of a sudden I smelled orange shoe polish it was so weird and then a couple hours later you go back it's back to that tangerine note and then it turns back into a cleaning product so this is like one of those scents that just changes as it warms once it's going through like all those scent notes. So it was weird. I mean, it's not one that I would pick up because I mean, I do love citrus, but this isn't citrus enough for me. Like there's no like zestiness. It's bright, but it's not juicy. It's not, it's not zesty. It's just like a body care tangerine. Like, I get chapstick tangerine. I don't know. I, I, I haven't, like, really decided yet what I'm doing with this bar. But it is my least favorite out of the collection. Um, but if orange or, I don't know, tangerine is your thing, try it. But 
I don't think it's going to be a repurchase for me only because I could probably get this fragrance out of other scents. Um, but that's just my opinion. So this was my least favorite. And then this comes in at number two, the pineapple dragon fruit. And then this was my absolute love for the collection, ocean air and coconut water. Absolute love. So that's my final opinion on that collection. Like I said, it is dropping on June 1st. So June 1st, you can pick this, these fragrances up as a set. I believe you can also buy them individually. Um, you can also club them. So on June 1st, I'm definitely probably clubbing both of these. Definitely this one. Probably yes on this one. Um, but you can club them. So that way, once the collection's over, you can continue to get them as long as you have them in your club since he will make it and all of that and on pro and this fragrance is going to be in cleaning so i am going to buy all the cleaning like all of it i'm going to get like a six pack of counter clean let me tell you it's so good all right so that's my review hope you guys like it till next time